Today marks six months since Josh had his FUE hair transplant done in Turkey. Hi guys, welcome and welcome back to my channel. It's Agnes with Josh. Quick update on how things are going. As you can see, things are looking really positive. There is still no 100% uh, outcome of the hair transplant. I have a message from my consultant yesterday asking for an update as it's been six months. I sent him some photos, but he's giving me reassurance that it's six months. You should be seeing the results up to 50 to 60% as the time progresses. Within 12 to 13 months, I should see full results. Um, I have shaved my hair um, just over a week ago. The reason is that my head, my scalp was very itchy. When I do shave my hair, it kind of calms my scalp down and I don't get the spots. I do regret shaving. I should have waited another week and showed you the results. The hair were looking really good, but I'm sure they'll come thicker next time. So next review, I will show you um, hair without me shaving my head. Take you back if you haven't seen our previous videos. Hair transplant was done in Turkey, Istanbul in February. It was... Um, quite gruesome procedure but not as bad because it was under local anesthetics the procedure itself lasted about seven and a half half hours i had about five thousand five thousand seven hundred grafts five thousand seven hundred grafts and i'm not sure if that had so many but yeah that's what they said the uh, estimate was yeah. very very hard to count that many yeah so about five thousand seven hundred grafts um some say there's a lot of grafts but i'm quite pleased with the results i don't think all the grafts actually settled they did mention that a lot will fall out uh first month i had quite a lot of fall hair were falling out i was worried spoke to my consultant gave me reassurance uh things will come back and after the third month things the hair started to grow back so i started to get baby hair very fine thin hair uh, compared to my outer hair so it wasn't like mix mix and match and the density wasn't there i've had about fifth shave now and uh, the density is there but again it's not 100 percent the result will will show you can see when you if you bend your head down you can still see where the line of one second not so much what you know that the line where you have had it implanted and also from the back you can see well show this, this part here you can see this part here was pretty much bold so it was mm -hmm. going up here so boldness was going up here and about around here and also had a circle patch at the back as well so as you can see this dark lines here so it mm -hmm. looks you know you can see the line it's pretty natural because it's not e like it doesn't it's not even all the way through uh, once the hairs come, they actually covers my head a little bit more so the forehead doesn't look as big. Um, the reason they had to follow the line here, my original line was about here. Uh, they couldn't do it due to the muscle weakness. As we age, the muscles weak, so they, they just wouldn't last, the hairs wouldn't last there. So they have to actually follow the, the muscles, which is, starts from about here, mm -hmm. I guess. And do you want to show people the back as well? Because at the back you can still see where they have plucked out the hair. You can see that... Um, you can't tell where there was a line of them plucking your hair out or taking the what you call the donor area yeah while my hair is short like this um you can see the all the bit donor area where the hairs were taken out but i assume as my hair grows, i need to have some sort of growth maybe size three or four then it covers the areas where the hair has been plucked out from in regards of recovery after my procedure um, it was a pretty um tough about week i should say uh, sleeping was a nightmare, uh, head was swollen, um, I had to sit up and sleep. So first couple of weeks are the most difficult part after your hair transplant and after that things started to get better. You know, I could wash my hair, could sleep lying down on the pillow. Uh, sideways as well. Yeah, was sideways as well, yeah. I could drink coffee after my second week. Yeah, so um, again, after second week, the recovery went really well. Uh, hair started falling out started to get a lot of pussy spots, uh, a lot of itchiness, but recovery was quick in sense of uh, sensation. I have full sensation all over my head. I can feel every little bumps and you know every little touch. A lot of people complain after having hair transplant how they struggle with recovery or things go wrong or it takes time or some people have numbness for a very long time. I've been fortunate in that side that um, it's been really, really good. Now, I don't know, is it because of the consultant they've done a really good job or is it just my body that is recovering really well? You did experience a lot of redness before, right? And the bumps were just because it was recovering. Yeah, so all the bumpiness were obviously all the bruising where the hairs were planted in and uh, the redness was again the head being very sore. They've given me special uh, cream which to apply uh, before shower to reduce the redness and it does work. 
and after that, I've got some special shampoo as well, which I use to wash my hair so it doesn't leave my scalp dry. Well, let us show you now the results from before, in between, and now. If you guys want to know more about my procedure, there are videos which we done recorded previously and you guys can just go back and have a look from we the time where I had my procedure. Below. It can be quite gruesome, all the blood's coming out of the hair, but it's not, it's not as bad, you don't feel much. And these guys are professional what they're doing. And if you are deciding to get your procedure done, I suggest you do it during the winter time. You know, where this is cooler and it's much easier to recover. You know, you don't have to hold a block of ice on your head. Now let's talk about the confidence side of things because obviously the whole reason why you got it down is so that you feel more confident and comfortable around everyone else and how you feel internally. Well, how I, did that affect you? I personally, um, as, I was, as I was getting bold, um, I didn't like the way I, lit my, I looked my appearance. A lot of people said that I bold head suits, my, suits me, but I just couldn't see that. So I have had long hair, thick hair for a very long time and being being bald very quickly, it was just really hard for me to accept um, the way I looked. A week ago Shoot. we've had a video filmed where you've had full head of hair and people were commenting on how good it looks. Oh yeah? And how did that feel? Yeah, really good, really good. Um, my, I had about say size four or five and hair and it looked quite, for especially from far away, it looks quite dense unless you come closer and uh, I've had pretty much positive comments for everyone um, friends and family members it's one of the things they've all picked up on it like oh wow look at your head oh well you know it looks really dense your hair is coming along so it's positive that people can see the difference you know after a few weeks they haven't seen me and they see the difference of growth of the hair um, which I'm really pleased about um, I think it's money well spent if you guys are thinking you know just, just kind of go and do it it's, it's money well worth it you know as men, we haven't got much going for ourselves except a our beard and hair. Um, so yeah, why not? You know, treat yourself, get yourself, get your hair, hair done if you if you if you if you think this is this will make you happy. And if it did make you happy. I am. I'm very pleased. Yes, I am. And uh, I'm and actually I'm looking forward. Full I'm, results, yeah, right? I'm looking forward to, to actually ones. go to the barbers. You know, get my hairstyle done. And yeah, that'd be, it'd be nice. Gel yeah. on. Yeah, I've been mean, already some people commenting that already, you know, especially one few weeks back before I shaved my hair, people saying that you already look about 10 years younger without the white beard. <laughs> well, you can colour that. Up. <laughs> All right, thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any questions, as always, please don't forget to ask them in the comments below. And don't forget to check out the videos that Josh was mentioning before. We have progress filmed every month. So if you're looking forward to the next video, stay tuned and we shall see you in a month's time with the same update. Thank Cheers. you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.